everybody, this is Justin Branham from MasterFiddle.com and we are going to kick off a new series on Master Fiddle that starts the first week of January 2022. Um, it's our tune a week challenge and I'm going to post this video a little early so you can get a jump on the challenge and also get a free preview of what it's going to be like. Um, I'm going to have this video teach a tune the 8th of January. We're going to learn the basic melody which is suitable for a beginner or anybody who just needs to learn the melody and then a more ornamented version that is suitable for intermediate or advanced level players. Got some variations and some different ways to play the uh, B part in this particular case. So um, if you're interested in this, make sure you go on over to masterfiddle.com and you can also download in the resources tab right below the video player here. I've got sheet music and tab you can download as well as audio practice tracks and audio files of the tune. Um, the, the rhythm tracks are also at half speed and if you go to masterfiddle.com and register for a subscription before January 31st you can save 10 percent so make sure you get out on board we're gonna have a lot of fun with this series and we're gonna learn a new fiddle tune every week of each month of 2022 so we've got 52 fiddle tunes when we get to the end of the month I'll run a poll based on your suggestions and everybody who's a subscriber can vote on the poll and whichever one wins I will do a lesson at the end of the month on that particular tune so lots of fun and lots to look forward to if you're on the website for the first time remember that in the video player if you look at the bottom of the video player there's a little gear shift icon if you hit that you can speed up or slow down all of the videos alright so let's get into it we're gonna learn the basic melody to the 8th of January 1st and Let's listen to the performance of it first, just to get it in our ears. All right, so the first phrase sounds like this. Okay, we're going to have a first finger on the E string, that's an F sharp note, down bow. And we're going to slur two notes on an up bow here. This is first finger on the E string, an F sharp, to an A note, third finger on the E string. Okay, back to our first finger on the E string on a down bow, F sharp. Open E, up bow. Third finger on the A string, a D note. That was a down bow. Continuing on in this phrase, an up bow, two note slur on an up bow. Open E, first finger E string, an F sharp. Open E, down bow. Now up bow, two note slur here, third finger on the A string, a D note. To first finger, a B note on the A string. Those two were slurred up. So that's our first phrase. I'll play it slowly. you can slow the videos down if I'm going too fast and there is tab and sheet music in the resources um, tab for download so make sure you get that if it would help you learn faster okay the next phrase which is going to finish the first part sounds like this all right so that's a down bow open E two notes slur on an up bow here open E to first finger F sharp down bow, open E, third finger A string, a D note on an up bow, first finger A string, a B note on a down bow, second finger on an up bow, a C sharp, down bow, third finger on the A string, a D note, first finger A string, a B note on an up bow, open A. And then we're going to slur two on an up bow on the D string, second finger D string, an F sharp to an open D. Okay, let's play that phrase. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, those are our two phrases. Let's try the whole tune now and we'll take the repeats. So we'll play the tune one time through the A section here and then we're going to do it one more time. Here we go, one, 
two, three, four. our first part simple enough just two phrases really now what's kind of unique about this tune and there are several fiddle tunes that do this is that it has short parts so it's got a four measure a part and you repeat that and that's considered one time through the way most people play it some people will double up those parts and that would be more the length of a standard fiddle tune so most fiddle tunes are going to have the first part be eight measures or eight bars and then you're going to repeat that so it's a short A section if you play it the way that most people do, where you play the A section twice. Okay, I, I usually do it that way because that just seems natural to me. Some people will repeat it, and that well, I always get it feels confusing. <laughs> so, uh, but whatever you're used to, whatever you like to do, you can repeat that. That's the A section. And uh, when you're learning this, make sure you pay attention to the bowings because those are really important. And if you're a beginner, especially as we get more advanced having a good sense of bow direction with the slurs and going up or down is really going to help you to play better. So bowings are important and the bowings are included in every single tune that uh, we're going to do in this series and everything I've got on the site just because I know how important that is. So um, watch those bowings. Our next part, which is going to get us through the B part, sounds like this. So that's an open A, down bow. We're gonna hit that again on an up bow, slur this time, to first finger on the A string, a B note. Back to open A, down bow. Okay, the next part of that phrase, and they're kind of oddly connected here. Uh, those are sort of the pickups into the next phrase. Uh, second finger on the D string is um, an F sharp note on an up bow here. To third finger G on the D string. Down bow on the A string, open A. First finger up bow, a B note. Open A. Now a three note slur here on the D string. Second finger on the D string, F sharp. So on an up bow. First finger E. Back to F sharp. And a down bow, open D. Second finger D string, an F sharp. Open A, down bow. Okay, so that gets us into the next phrase. Let's just play that much of it. One, two, three, four. So that A note is the beginning of the next phrase, which sounds like this. And that last measure of the phrase is just like the last measure of the first part. So we actually already know half of this phrase. Um, and then the first little bit of this is very similar to what we did on the first phrase in the B section. So we've got open A, down bow. Two notes slur on an up bow here. Open A again. First finger A string, a B note. Open A on a down bow. Third finger A string, a D note. First finger E string, an F sharp. Open E up bow. And then the last measure. There's three on the A string on a down bow, a D note. First finger B on uh, up bow on the A string. Open A, down bow. We're going to slur two on an up bow here on the D string. Second finger D string, an F sharp to an open D. Okay, let's try that phrase and we'll put it together. One, two, three, four. Okay, and let's do the whole B section now and we'll take repeats. One, two, three, four.
say. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So that is the basic melody for the 8th of January. And if that happened to be a little difficult for you, remember you can slow the videos down and if it's still too hard, um, I've got other tunes on the side. If you look at the beginner lesson collection, I've got some tunes that are easier and might help you kind of get into this one. So this is a good transition from really early beginner into some more um, kind of continuing beginner, we'll say, tunes. And this version would be great if you're looking for something that's a little more performance worthy uh, compared to some other beginner tunes. And if you're more advanced or intermediate, it's always good to know the skeletal or basic melody of a tune before you kind of dress it up so that you know the real foundation of it. Because we can always go back to this if we get lost or we just want to kind of solidify things. Um, the basic melody is always great to go back to. So <clears throat> we've got the straight or basic melody done and now we're going to move into the ornamented version of the melody. Have a little fun with that. So if you want to download sheet music and grab that, you can pause me. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and, and go right into it. So our first part, um, which I have on, if you look at the music, if, if you are a reader, uh, I have listed as A part variation one. And so what I'm going to do is show you each of these variations and what part they go with so that you can sub one for the other and you can kind of interchange if you use variation one or variation two, it doesn't matter. Um, it, I think it's a little better to learn things in chunks like that so that they're not always in the same spot. That way we can start to do a little controlled improvisation, which is part of almost all styles of fiddle music. So here we go. Our first part sounds like this. <laughs> So ornamenting the melody quite a bit, we've got some drones as well, and just sort of playing around the notes of the melody, making more eighth notes. Our first little bit is on a down bow, open A and open E, so two notes, to a first finger on the E string, an F sharp with that open A, okay, and that's a kind of a grace note into the first note of the melody, which is that F sharp, that E note to F sharp like that. That's a really common thing in old time country fiddle and, and bluegrass too. Um, three note slur here on an up bow, third finger A, it's on the E string here. First finger F sharp, open E. And then we're gonna do another three note slur starting on the A string, a D note on the A string, third finger. First finger E string and F sharp. Open E. So we've got Okay, continuing that phrase. So we've got left a uh, third finger on the A string on a D note. This is an up bow. First finger B, second finger C sharp, third finger D. that third finger D is going to be on a down bow. So we've got third finger on the A string, a D note on an up bow, first finger B, second finger C sharp, down bow, third finger on the A string, D note, and then a three note slur again, first finger on the A string, a B note, second finger C sharp, third finger D. Okay, so that was... Uh, Okay, and I'll put it with the rest of that phrase. Next half of that part. Again, we've got 
got a grace note here, second finger on the A string, a C sharp, and an open E, to a fourth finger on the A string, an E note, and another open E. So we've got a unison drone here. Okay, and that was on a down bow. First finger on the E string, an F sharp, up, open E down, three note slur here, third finger on the A string, a D note, first finger B, second finger C sharp, now third finger on the A string, a down bow, a D note, first finger up bow, a B note, three note slur, open A, second finger D string, an F sharp, and open A together. Still going down, first finger D string, an E note, and open A. And then open A and open D together on an up bow. Okay, so that's our first little variation, our first part. And let's play that together. One, two, three, four. Second variation is kind of similar. We got a little different. Uh, so the last measure is exactly the same, and the first measure is basically the same too. Uh, it is exactly the same. First measure into the second measure. So we've got this. That's the same, but instead of going. We're going to go. So the part that's different, we're coming off of the slur on a down bow on the E string, then first finger on an up bow, an F sharp note on the, um, first finger on the E string, an up bow, it's an F sharp, I said that already. Uh, open E, down bow. Third finger on the A string, a D note, and an open E. And that is a drone basically it's very subtle it's, it's fast you hardly hear it so don't you know you don't have to try to play that interval it's a little dissonant it's kind of going to happen anyway because we do want to have two notes when we play the first finger on the a string b note and open e okay so now instead of going we're going to go Nice little variation there. Open E on a down bow. A high two, a G sharp. This is outside the key, but it's common to have the fourth note of the key or the scale, which is G raised sometimes when you have a melodic line that sounds good that way. So three note slur, open E, second finger G sharp, third finger A, all down. Go back to that G sharp on an up bow now. Third finger A. Now a three note slur on the E string, first finger F sharp, this is all down, third finger A on the uh, E string, open E, second finger on the A string, third finger A string, first finger B, and that was all saw stroke, and then we're going to slur three on a down bow here, open A, second finger on the D string and open A. First finger D string and open A. And then we're going to go up with open A and open D. That was just like the, the last measure of the first variation. So we got A part variation one, A part variation two out of the way. So that's one time through the A section, and now we're going to go to the B section. But let's play that uh, second variation one time. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, now the B part variation one sounds like this. Basically, going to do the same thing for the second part. We just have a little variation on the front of that. Um, again, we've got the grace note here second finger on the D string, an F sharp, and open A on a down bow. To fourth finger on the D string, an A note, and uh, open A. That was down. On the up bow, we're going to play a first finger on the A string. It's a B note. To 
So open A. Then second finger D string and F sharp, slur two here. To third finger G. Another two note slur, open A on an uh, up bow. First finger B. Down bow, open A string. Slur three here on the D string, F sharp, second finger. First finger E, open D. And then the ending phrase, that's where we're at right now. We've got two note pickup into that uh, downbeat of that phrase. Second finger on the D string and F sharp. Third finger G, open A. So those were all down. First finger on the A string and uh, B note. Up and then down, open A. Second finger on the D string and F sharp. Open A, this is all up. Third finger A string, a D note. So all those were up. First finger E string on a down bow and F sharp. Open E, up bow. Third finger A string on a down bow, a D note. First finger B on an up bow. Open A on a down bow. Put your second finger on the D string and F sharp and open A. First finger on the D string and E note and open A. And then open A and open D on an up bow. So that's. Okay, that's our B part variation one. Let's play it all together. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next variation is exactly the same except for the beginning. It sounds like this. <laughs> Gotta watch me, or I won't play in tune. Um, <laughs> double stop is a third finger on the D string, an A note. We're in second position here. And a second finger on the A string, a D note. And I think of that, if I were in the key of C, this is a double stop you might do a lot. Um, that third finger and second finger on the D string, a G and a C note. But just moved up into second position over D. And we're going to go down, up, and down. And still in second position here, these are the same notes that we played in first position, but to make it easy, we're going to play a first finger on the D string on an F sharp, to second finger on the D string, a G, uh, G note, and then we're going to go to an open A, and it's the same after that. So. We're going to change the bowing just a little bit though. I'm going to slur these two on an up bow, got first finger to second finger, and then slur these two on a down, uh, slur three on a down bow. Open A, B, open A. So that we can get back to the bowing that we had before. Everything else is exactly the same, so it's just that one little bit at the beginning. Uh, so not a huge variation, but a neat part nonetheless. And now we've basically got one time all the way through with the more ornamented version. That's a pretty standard version that most people would play. So I wanted to show you uh, two other ways to play the first part and the, um, the second part, or one other way to play each of those parts, I should say. And these come from, um, if you listen to Scotty Stoneman play, he's a great bluegrass fiddle player. He uh, had a cool version of this too and did these kind of different takes on the first and second parts. Uh, I, I, well, the first part, and then the second part is one I got from Paul Warren, actually. So, um, Scotty Stoneman on the first part, the second part kind of based on Paul Warren. Not exactly the way they did, they did it, but a good version that kind of fits with what we're doing in the first two parts of this version that we've got. So, and it sounds like this. <laughs> So 
that's a sub for the first A part. And what we're going to do is play open A and open <coughs> E again, just like we did in the first uh, variation. To first finger on the E string and F sharp. And then an octave here, open A and third finger on the E string and uh, two A notes. This kind of sounds like stay all night just a little bit. Or a lot. <laughs> That part of it might be ripped off from stay all night, stay a little longer. Um, and then a three note slur on a down bow here, third finger E string, fourth finger B, back to third finger, up bow, first finger on the E string, open E, down bow, third finger on the A string, three note slur here, um, this is D, first finger B, open A, so now we've got... And then... The rest of that part, third finger on the A and E strings on a D and A note, so those are fifths. Real bluegrassy kind of thing to do. Then first finger on the A and E strings, a B and an F sharp, to open A and open E. That was all down. We're going to do that again on an up bow this time, three notes slur again. So. Another three note slur, second finger on the D string and F sharp, third finger G, open A, up bow first finger on the A string of B note, open A, three note slur again, second finger on the D string and F sharp and open A, first finger E and open A, and then up on an uh, A note and a D note, open A and open D. So that. repeat that. Um, so that is the variation for the A part. We would just do it twice. So I'll play through it twice. Play with me if you want. One, two, one, two, three, four. So if, if um, you're playing this real bluegrass, you'd be a little faster, and that those fifths are going to sound really good like that. <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, so that's the A part, and then let's go to the B part now. And this is uh, coming to us from the fiddling of Paul Warren, um, and it's just an octave up version of the B part basically and it kind of sounds like Smith's Reel so <laughs> both of these um, might have their origins in other tunes but they also sound like it, it's January of course all fiddle tunes have some commonality um, we're going to have a, um, a three note pickup into the downbeat of the first measure and the part sounds like this that's it and we're going to repeat that as well so three notes slur on a down bow into the first measure here. First finger on the E string and F sharp. Second finger G. Third finger A. Up bow on the E string and F sharp. Fourth finger on the E string of B note. Two notes slur here on the E string. F sharp first finger to third finger A. So. And the three note slur on a down bow here, first finger on the E string of F sharp, second finger G, third finger A. So that fourth finger on the E string of B note, third finger on the E string of A note, first finger E string F sharp. Open E, third finger on the A string of D note. So that And the next half of that, uh, first finger on the E string on a down bow, three note slur, to second finger G, third finger A, it's kind of a repeat of what we did before, uh, first finger E string, fourth finger B, 
We're going to do a three note slur on an up bow here. First finger on the E string and F sharp. Third finger A. Back to first finger F sharp. And then three note slur again on a down bow. Three, two, one on the E string. Or A, G, F sharp. Third finger on the A string, uh, D note. Open E. Second finger on the A string is C sharp. This is a two note slur on an up bow to third finger D. So. And then we re repeat all of that. So I'll play that first part. Um, if you wanted to, if you're going to end it like I do on the recording, I would not slur those last two. I would, I would go down on that last note and end on a down bow. It doesn't matter too much if you, if you slur it though. If you're going to play it again, I would want to slur it on an up bow so I can start down on the downbeat of the next measure, which would be back to the A part. So here's that B part variation. And that gets us through all the parts. So um, we've got a bunch of variations on the A part and the B part as well. You can mix all of those. So if I play uh, an A part variation, just because I play that first in this arrangement doesn't mean you have to play it first. You could play the uh, second A part variation first and then do the first ver A part variation second, which I'll show you what I mean by that. So instead of going, that was what we did first, we could do this. And this is variation one. So I'm just alternating parts and I can do that because those parts have the same chord progression and they're to the same section of the tune. So as long as it is filling in for the same part, we can always do that. And you can even do that with phrases too. If it's a phrase that covers the same section of the tune, a lot of times they're interchangeable. Uh, sometimes it could be a phrase from another part too and it might be interchangeable as well. You just have to try it and see. But that's why I have all the different variations labeled so you can kind of mix and match them however you want to. And you can also throw some of the basic melody in there too whenever you want. So learn all of these individually and kind of organize them in your mind to be um, you know, inter interchangeable with each other. Um, and I think that's about all there is to say. Uh, just go through and get this learned and you know most of the tunes that we do are going to have all of these variations or some amount of variation and have a basic melody version and a more ornamented melody version. So if you like this format and you want to learn a bunch of really standard tunes like this that everybody should know uh, for pretty much all styles of fiddle then you might want to check out masterfiddle.com if you haven't already and subscribe and jump on our um, tune a week challenge for 2022. So I will see you in the next video uh, for this series, or if you're on Master Fiddle, I'll see you on one of those. Uh, we've got videos on technique and on improv, uh, licks, all kinds of different stuff. But our next video for our next tune is gonna be, um, in this series, is gonna be Darling Nelly Gray in the key of D. That's a really cool slow one. And um, I forget what we're gonna do after that, but you can take a look at the calendar and find out. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you soon.